Hi everyone. So in my last video, I spoke about uh, being on a no buy promise to myself all of 2019. The only things that I did buy were towards the end of the year. There were a few skincare items that uh, you know I needed to replenish. Uh, if you saw my empties video, you would have seen that you know I had a lot of Ole products that I had to finish, and once I was done with it, I wanted to take a bit of a break so i ended up buying a few skincare items all of which i have filmed and they are on my channel uh, most of them i bought either were from the ordinary or uh, from yes style during the black friday sale so apart from those few skincare items i ended up not buying anything all through the year so today i'm going to talk about my experience being on a no buy schedule all of 2019 so why did I make this promise of not buying anything in this year? So right at the start of this year, we moved to this uh, house. This is a rented house and it's much bigger than our previous apartment. Uh, so the previous apartment that we were renting in was a very tiny two bedroom unit. And as we were moving to this house, I had taken the charge of packing up the entire house. While packing, I realized how much stuff we have hoarded. So we are a very small family. It's just me, my husband and my son. He's only eight years old. Uh, so we shouldn't be having as much stuff as we do and as i was packing i was almost traumatized seeing the amount of stuff that we had accumulated and a lot of the stuff we had bought and never used it it was brand new in original boxes so it all frankly did traumatize me quite a bit to have to pack up so much and uh, then to move to this house and then unpack everything was i was in disbelief at the amount of stuff we had so I used to buy a lot of things uh, for the kitchen, for example, a lot of ki kitchen wear, a lot of clothes, a lot of shoes, a lot of skincare. So all of those things, you know, I had, uh, I want to say I had hoarded a lot of, I had bought a lot of. And um, I think some of my bad habits when it comes to shopping had also rubbed off to my husband who also ended up buying a lot of clothing and shoes. So I think I got him onto this whole buy it now because it's on sale and it's going to last you so long so i kind of i think rubbed off my poor shopping habits onto him so uh, as we moved into this house and i unpacked everything i just made a promise that i have so much stuff i'm not going to buy anything until i use it all up or i give it away a lot of the things that i did have with you know, as I mentioned, they were either brand new with uh, tags in case of clothing or things that I had barely used, but they were just sitting there. So I decided I'm not going to buy anything uh, more. We have spent a lot of money and uh, we really should be saving at this point. Uh, you know, we've been living in rented accommodations all our lives. And now is finally the time that I have wanted to, you know, settle down, buy our own place. But if we keep shopping like this, we're never going to be able to fulfill that dream. So really that was what set the tone for me to not buy anything all through this year. So how hard was it not buying anything all of 2019? And when I say not buying anything, I don't mean groceries and cleaning supplies and things that, you know, you need to survive. We were only buying the necessities. You know, when it comes to clothing and shoes, it wasn't hard at all. Um, there was a time that I think uh, I would say there were more like withdrawal symptoms when I felt oh I got nothing new in my wardrobe so I want to buy something so that was a phase especially when you know the sales were going on and people were saying hey I got this at 70% off and I was a little tempted at that time and especially because I have put on a bit of weight over the last couple of months so you know the number of clothes that fit me has reduced quite a bit so I was tempted at that time to go and, you know, have a small little shopping spree, but I stayed away. I have way too many clothes to say that nothing fits me. <laughs> so uh, when it comes to clothing and shoes, uh, it wasn't very difficult. But since we moved to this house, it's a much bigger space than we have ever had. So the temptation was very real, especially, you know, the temptation to buy some home decor items or some pillows or some throws. We, of course, did have to buy a sofa and a dining table because in that tiny two bedroom unit that we were in, we had only a tiny three seater sofa. So 
we couldn't host anybody so we had to buy a much bigger sofa and we didn't have a proper dining table either it was just you know a table with two benches which we actually got rid of we sold it off so at that time i was very keen on you know buying a few pillows and a few throws that will make our room look nicer but again i stayed away the temptation was very real i kid you not i did not buy any of those home decor things that we don't need i i was only going to buy the necessities which does not include pillows and throws and you know vases and things like that <clears throat> So this is my third video that I'm filming and I'm kind of losing my voice. So all in all, I wouldn't say it was very difficult. Um, Any time that I was tempted to buy things, I would remind myself <laughs> of the trauma of, you know, packing and unpacking and just the sense of disbelief I had had at that time. I just reminded myself of that feeling and that was enough. That, that was enough to stop me from buying anything new. Would I recommend it to people and why? Yes, I would certainly recommend it. And why? Well, you know, the reasons will be different for different people. So for me, the motivation was A, we have way too much stuff. We don't need as much stuff. B, the money. We have already spent a lot of money buying all of these things and we certainly don't need to spend any more, you know, on clothing and shoes until we have been able to have a fair amount of use from all of these items that we have. The third thing, which I think not a lot of us realize, I certainly did not realize it, is the amount of time we spent shopping. So the number of hours I have spent uh, either browsing websites or in a shopping mall, just going from one store to another and just buying things because my girlfriend is also buying something or because it's so cheap or it's so cute, the packaging is so fun. Alongside the money, the time aspect is also one thing that we need to realize, how much time we end up spending shopping. And uh, at the risk of sounding very philosophical, the time lost once, you're never gonna get it back. I feel a halo around me. <laughs> So that it in itself, I think, is a reason to try it out. So not spending all that time in a shopping mall will actually uh, give us more time to spend on things that actually matter. That could be different for different people again. It could be time with family, time with friends or binge watching a Netflix show. And the last reason I would recommend uh, a no by year to anybody wanting to try it out is because from staying away from all these shops you realize how much we get sucked into all the consumerism you know all the ads that say limited time only this is your last chance and we do get sucked into it from not getting sucked into all of these marketing ploys i would say and saving money saving time it kind of made me question what is it that truly makes me happy and that is when you know you tend to question that was I just shopping for the sake of filling a void that I might have. So that was a very quick sort of an update on my no buy year. Uh, if you're new to my channel you would have seen a few haul videos but like I said in one of those videos those were things I had to buy because I had I was finishing up all my other skincare products that I already had and only when I was nearing the end or finishing up, up those products that's when I was ordering more or trying out something different. Will I continue this no buy year in 2020? I would. I think once you realize how much you were getting sucked into all these marketing ploys, it's difficult to unlearn it. So I would certainly be continuing this in 2020 as well. Uh, I might make a few tweaks here and there, but uh, I'll keep you posted. So tell me, have you also tried the no buy year at any time? Do you intend to do this in 2020? Please let me know. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.